Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak the 2.2.1 untethered jailbreak for the iPod Touch second generation. As you can see, this is the second generation. And um, right now I have it jailbroken, but um, I'm going to restore it so it doesn't really matter. So, anyway, so first what you're going to do is download all the files in the video description. It's going to be four files. So first is the um, the jailbreak file, which is the Red Vault, Red Jolt, the beta version of it. And these two of them, there's two of them right here. There's two two one one firm dot ipsw. There's two of them, and there's another one called custom firmware dot ipsw. Now these are already made, so that means you're not gonna make a custom firmware. And it's on the map. So first, what you're gonna do is. As you can see, the three firmware is right there. Um, you're going to drag them into these, um, the red jolt. So first what you're going to do is hold down control and then click. And then hit show package contents. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Go into contents. And go into resources. Then go into red snow. And it's, you're going to see three files right there. What are you going to do? See these three files? You're going to highlight them all. And you're going to drag them right into this folder. And after that's in here, you're going to launch your Red Jolt. And it will open. So now we can minimize this. And as you can see, you're going to see the uh, Red Jolt tool. And it's going to give you some stuff. And right now, I already showed you all that, so you already did that. You can proceed to step one. Now what you're going to do is you're going to have to put your iPod Touch into DFU mode and um, you can click on start DFU counter. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to show you how to do it. It's going to be much easier. And, okay, so first what you're going to do is hold the home button and then the power button for 10 seconds. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let go of the power button and continue to hold the home button. And... Um, then uh, I'm pretty sure iTunes is going to pop up. And I believe it's going up right now. But just keep on holding that down. And your iTunes will open up. And as you can see, my iTunes is opened up. You can put the iPod down, you can release the home button. And. Okay. And we can exit our iTunes. And it's going to be a second. Yeah. Okay. So now, after you have the DFU mode in, you're going to go over here. Where it says, my iPod is in DFU mode. Proceed to the next step. And... Okay, um, sorry about that. Now it says we are going to extract your files, hit OK, and um, now you can just click on Extract Boot, or it says Extract Boot, IBSS, click on that, and it's going to open up this um, terminal, terminal thing right here, and it's going to say Files Extracted, and it'll close the terminal out. Now you're going to send Normal IBSS, click on it, and watch this, your iPod screen is going to turn white and there you go the iPod screen is white your iTunes you can just minimize it because it's going to keep on popping up hit continue now um, where it says send red snow exploit just click on that and another terminal window will open up and Right, the red snow has been applied. Just hit continue. And hit close. Okay. <clears throat> now it says now we're going to need you to do a custom store through iTunes. Open iTunes option. Click store. Select the firmware.psw. Blah, blah, blah. 
Okay, now what we're gonna do is open up iTunes. And right now, you're gonna hold Option down. While you hold an Option down, click on Restore. And this window should pop up. Now what we're gonna do is, actually, um, forget that, whoops, sorry. Go back into your um, folder where the red gel is located and go hit Control, and then go Show Package Contents. Go into Contents, go to Resources, go to Red Snow, and you're gonna see the custom firmware.ipsw right there. And what you're gonna do is um, drag that over to your desktop. And what you can do is hold shift, I mean hold option and then click restore. Go to your desktop, click on the um, custom firmware, and it will extract the software as you can see. And your iPod touch screen will still stay white while it's extracting the software. But then it will go into a uh, different mode. Uh, and I'm going to show you, just give it a second. Now it's going to prepare for the restore. And as you can see, you're going to see the custom boot logo that I have put on for you. Very nice custom boot logo. I actually like this a lot. And right now it's going to restore. This is going to take um, 15 to uh, an hour. Um, if you're on a fast computer and your USB is not messed up and stuff, then it should only take a couple of minutes. If you're on a slow computer, it might take up to an hour. So um, I've been getting a lot of questions on that. And... Um, People are getting worried, and whatever you do, if you're worried, do not unplug your iPod Touch while this process is running. And as you can see, I got a new um, new process going up on there. So anyway, I'll be back when this is done. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna be back when this is done. Thanks for watching this part, and um, be right back. Okay guys, as you can see the process is finished and my iPod Touch is booting up. And um, just give it a second. And first of all, I'll show you again. This is my second gen with the backing and it's booted up. Slide to unlock. And right there, wow. City to an installer. And that's on the second gen too. So um so that's how you do that on a Mac, untethered. I'm gonna show you it booting up again. Just the to show you guys that I'm not lying, it's untethered, not semi-tethered. And wait for it to shut off. Turn it back on. And look, it's turning on with the custom boot logo that I gave you. And if you don't like this custom boot logo, you can use Logo Me, which is a pretty cool um, application. It's built on on the iPod. You just have to download it from Cydia. Um, I don't, I don't have that because I'm okay with the custom firmware that I have right now. But um, if you need the um, firmware or whatever, just you know, download it and stuff. I mean, if you need the other uh, boot logos, then you can just download it. And so, yeah, that's how you do that. And um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And, um, yeah, I hope this video helped. Thanks. And, um, yeah.